what are the underlying anxieties behind ca cancel culture? Oh, yeah. I mean, they're manifold, but I think that we can identify a few of them. You know, it occurs to me that there's quite a lot of anxiety that's uh, economic driven. And I think that, you know, Hannah Arendt was the one that said there's nothing for like the promotion of, uh, of, of people in junior positions like a purge. And so I think that a lot of the kind of cancellation or the urge to, to, to punish or to, um, to scapegoat or to rid um, people from institutions is driven by labor scarcity, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, if, if we were in a more abundant time where um, elite knowledge positions were, 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 were not so scarce, then I think that there would be less um, of a punitive impulse to, to strip people of their employment. But I also think that, you know, um, th there's quite a lot of uh, anxiety in, in, in wanting to to feel that your life is, um, is, is, is an alliance with certain um, important struggles. We no longer have, there's a dearth of meaning as we've been saying. Mm -hmm. And so I think that people um, attach themselves to kind of Manichaean views of, of mm -hmm. culture mm -hmm. uh, and, and try to be on the right side of history as we now say kind of glibly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, th th it's manifold. But, you know, it, it also there's a technological component that can't be ignored. We live um, in a kind of constant panopticon. We're all always uploading so many aspects of our personal and professional lives and we're all critiquing each other and ourselves constantly. So nothing actually is done in the dark anymore. Things that used to, they would have been scandalous within your office now go global. If you look at Jeffrey Tubin from The New Yorker, yeah. for example, you know, but that would have been something that would have been a legendary in the offices of The New Yorker if it happened in the 80s and no one outside of that would ever really know. But when he did it, uh, I was having some friends over for dinner in Paris and every single person that came over, American or French, uh, mentioned it upon arrival. I mean, nothing that you do is mm -hmm. not noticed now. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that's anxiety inducing too. We're always performing, we're always being critiqued. Well, his was a special performance though. No? His was a special performance. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's, it's all a matter of degree. <laughs>